sure you've either been witness to or guilty of confusing energy with power. The two are synonymous in everyday life. However, in the realm of energy storage, they mean very different things. Let's start with energy density. Energy density, as defined by the Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy, is the amount of energy the battery can store with respect to its mass. In this instance, we're talking about capacity. The higher the density, the greater the amount of energy that can be stored. So, if your cell phone, for example, has an energy-dense battery, it's going to stay charged for a longer period of time than the one that is of a low density. As far as units of measure, energy density is measured in watt-hours per kilogram. Power density, on the other hand, is the amount of power that can be generated by the battery with respect to its mass. In this instance, we're referring to the speed, or rather the battery's ability to absorb and deliver power. So going back to the cell phone example, a battery with high power density will charge faster than one with a lower power density. Make sense? Power density is measured in watts per kilogram, so the unit of measure is very similar, but definitely not the same. We'll have more videos that cover some specific uses of each metric, so don't worry if you don't completely understand the units. The goal for this was more so to get you to understand the high-level concepts. In the meantime, if you're looking for more info on energy storage, stay tuned to our YouTube channel and also visit our website at greensmithenergy.com.